No, move, move, move. There are more than 350,000 annual cases of out-of-hospital cardiac arrests in the US alone and over 270,000 in the European Union. Around 90% of all cases are fatal. This high fatality rate is primarily due to insufficient CPR, whether from bystanders or delayed paramedics. To minimize human effort and error, there is a critical need for an automatic, safe, hands-free CPR solution. Such a device would save time and effort, allowing medical teams to focus on other crucial aspects of care. The current state of the art is a mechanical chest compression device called the Lucas CPR. However, it has significant drawbacks. It does not fit large patients who in fact have the highest likelihood of getting a cardiac arrest, causes multiple injuries like skin lesions and rib fractures more than manual CPR, costs a hefty $20,000 and is bulky, making it less portable. To address these issues, we developed the CPR Lifeline. This device features a padded strap that allows paramedics to secure it around any size patient's chest. The strap is tightened until it fits snugly without extra tension, ensuring the device sits flush against the chest. When activated, the CPR Lifeline automatically delivers 120 compressions per minute with a force of around 500 newtons, achieving the necessary 2-inch compression depth to effectively pump the heart. In the Lucas CPR device, a suction cup on the linear rod's ends contacts the skin only at the edges, causing pressure points and marks. To address this, we tested various materials and found microfiber to be optimal. When used with full contact on the skin, microfiber reduces the pressure without deforming. Our design is cost-effective with a bill of materials at $200 and is lightweight and portable. It also allows space for defibrillation pads to be set up diagonally, facilitating AED use alongside your CPR. To validate the design, we built a prototype CPR rig. It includes a 150 watt motor running at 3000 RPM, connected to a double stage gear reducer with a 25 to 1 ratio, resulting in an output of 120 RPM at the required 12 Newton meter torque. This setup drives a scotch yoke mechanism with a sliding pin at radius 2.5 cm, enabling the linear rod to travel 2 inches with 500 Newton force while achieving the necessary 120 compressions per minute. Currently, all parts are 3D printed except for the bearings, motor and power supply. Moving forward, we will use medical grade components and metal parts for increased durability. The microfiber material will be optimized for better pressure distribution and the power supply will be replaced with a rechargeable lithium ion polymer battery, ensuring it lasts about 30 minutes exceeding the average CPR duration. By refining these aspects, we aim to finalize the design and bring the CPR lifeline to market, providing an effective and affordable CPR solution.